everyone, my name is Umu. My name is Kevin. I play French horn and I run React to Decay. I play piano and I'm not a zombie who reacts and Costco musicians react. Then what are you? A human, I think. Oh, how boring. I make the most out of it. <laughs> I, make, I make the most out of it. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to our Purple Kiss Zombie Reaction. And not only are we so excited to dive into this song, I saw the teasers. It's very bright and flashy and okay. spooky, but also fun. Um, but we will be releasing an interview with Purple Kiss. Not sure when. We're currently filming this the day before that we're interviewing them, so... Technically interview. two days, but it'll be at like 2 a.m. So wish us luck. <laughs> even though, even though the w good luck will be happening after this video is probably published, um, but we're going to be playing a guessing game with them where we play classical versions of K-pop, uh, and they have to name the song. And if they name the song correctly, then they can answer the question I have for them. So, other than that, shall we dive in? Sure. Zombie, zombie, zombie. Eh, eh. Miley Cyrus version's better. I feel like I became a zombie Not alive, but I'm still walking Dance monkey with funk guitar Oh, I like the green brain I love the dry sounding percussion that they brought in. Sounds like hand percussion. They can the layers as we lead up to the... Was that a scream? Oh my goodness. Whoa, what? 159. Oh, I like the little punk guitar thing before the... What? <laughs> they keep putting in sounds and then taking them out and putting in different sounds and then taking them out and like rotating all sorts of different sounds. Oh, yeah. Did I say Dance Monkey earlier? I, I, I didn't know it was going to turn into this. I was right. Oh, oh, oh! And it panned in between the two. The producer is having a lot of fun yeah. with the transition sounds through chromaticism and different sounds. I like the lighting. Shout out to the lighting department. New pre chorus. I don't remember the triplets from before. It's a little shorter, but yeah, it emphasizes the 159 a little less. <laughs> the slap bass fits this hook quite well. I don't know. Or is it the part just before it? Oh, major, all right, Carol. Hey. Oh, look at his name drop, yep. Oh, they move in a third up. Nice. And they also shout out the album title. Oh, they did a slight little syncopation. I like the dance. I just noticed the dance. What? <laughs> That's been happening before, bro. Da, 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 da. Did yeah. it happen before? No, oh, I was overwhelmed. Ends on a three. I like that. Da, 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 da. Is that a cameo? Is that a cameo? It has to be. Usually they're cameos. I just don't know. That might that be is. a. 
wanna remember question mark? Whoa, that was a loud. Maybe perhaps that was supposed to be a jump scare. That, okay, that song reminds me of, you know, fruitcakes? I think they have a specific name, but it's like the cake that your grandma gives you on Christmas. I think oh, so. wait, you're Chinese. White grandmas give you on Christmas. No. Wait, wait, wait. I can imagine the ones that they have in the grocery store. Have you tried it before? Yeah. Oh, that? Yeah, this. Oh. Okay, except it's actually Ooh. good. Except it's actually oh, good. <laughs> no, I don't like those. Okay, so it reminds me of a good fruitcake. Wow. <laughs> because... Do you have your grandma's recipe? Because I want to try it. I Actually, maybe. Okay. I'll keep you... I'll, I'll call my grandma okay. after this. Christmas is going to be special this year. <laughs> <laughs> but this song, it has a very steady chord progression throughout, mm. um, repeated percussion, but there's all these little... Fruits, all these different flavored flute, flutes, different Not quite, flavored but. fruits or uh, candies throughout with the, the screams and the chromaticism and the little like whoop or the addition of like a third above or a fifth above the melody mm. that really shows off the range and layers upon layers that just come in for a second to flavor one bite of the song mm -hmm. and then the flavors completely change a few seconds later yeah because i don't know about you but i was struggling to comment on the song because as i was about to say something the rhythm would suddenly like change extremely or like a whole new set of screams came in it was right for a song that uses a pretty generic chord progression right. and melody da 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 sure Wait a minute. No, 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 no. We gotta listen to the chorus again. What? Wait, this sounds like something. A few minutes later. Okay, never mind. Okay. So as I was listening to this, I had a okay, in my head. Okay, okay. It's, 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 it's one of our uh, oh interview questions. For something that sounds pretty generic, both harmonically and like even the some be 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 the, 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 the one two punch of that chorus should not work but because of all the production choices and everything that's surrounding it it really works mm. I, I really think it works what's the what's the chord progression you're talking about um it's it's just the one and the minor five the Okay, okay. You so know, this kind of this kind or of Or it does go uh, to four this time. It's underlying harmonies is what we hear in a lot of pop music. Yeah. Yeah. And it's an old one. It's one that I feel like just has pervaded the, you know, the Asian pop industry. Like I feel like I've heard C pop songs when I was younger oh. that just use that mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wanna It's a very comfy. Almost do a second listen. I almost just want to, to as okay. well. And we can pause at fun moments. Yeah. Let's do it. Uh, also, Yuki has rap in, or at least a presence in every single section that's not the chorus. Mm. That's pretty, pretty fire. Mm. She, she's in everything. Yay! Three, two, yeah. yay! The kiss of death, knowing how. The beginning production is so nice. It's perfectly balanced. The punchy, the funky. Oh, it goes down to four. This is sad. <laughs> they start throwing the da, da. which is the main motif of the chorus. Woo! Ah! Her rap voice is just the best. Cool lower harmony. Yeah. That. That was interesting. Yeah, the pre-chorus is sort of mind-blowing. We have... I think that's what she does. That sounds like Steve Reich. Something, something that sounds like that. Mm -hmm. Where it's like a one, a five, and then another five on top of the five. So it's one, five, nine. Mm. Yeah, and then I think she goes down to the two. So it's like, uh, it's like, oh no, it's... Mm, yep. That, which is really weird. And then we hear a synth, da -da 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 -da, which is like a build-up. And they sing something, and then we hear another funk guitar build. Up. It's it's yeah, that single section is so confusing to me that yeah, I mean it like, makes you want to re-listen. Exactly. Yeah, and pick yeah. it apart. Yeah, oh. it's, gonna, it's gonna come back later. So. Yeah. yeah, excited to hear it again. Yeah. Two, one. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, I, yeah, I oh, love the how busy the violin part is. Yeah, I've never noticed the strings until now, yeah. Because this kind of like disco esque inspired music, usually the strings are just one like one note. Woo! Or one note. Dun, dun. Yeah, right, right. But they have like glissandos up, whoom, and descensions. Right. Oh, they do da 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 every time. Yeah, even the mixing. It's fantastic. Lots of panning. Oh, there's a pun on BBB and CCC, even though it's the C. Yeah, I like that. That's so fun! It's so weird. I think I got my chord wrong earlier. Was it the first time it was sung and this time it's a little bit more spoken? A little bit. I think the vocals, I think the instruments may be a bit more muted this time and the vocals are mixed differently, like different yeah. equalization. There's like a few it very subtle different. changes. Yeah. Yeah. And I think some of the inflections are a little bit different. <laughs> I don't it think sounds so the, different on piano. I don't think there's the extra fifth. Yeah, something's wrong with my chord, but I, I, I love to keep trying. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love that. Too good. The music video just makes it better. <laughs> Even the slap bass. Oh yeah. It's just on the root notes, but it's so flavorful. Oh, there's a major hint. I didn't yeah. notice. Never noticed that. <laughs> too much going on. Oh, very major. And that octave. Oof. Come on, sweetie. Oh, I wanted her to resolve so badly. Yeah. Two, three, four. Oh, no, yeah. I, I like that it doesn't, though. You like that it doesn't? Yeah. It messes with my perfect theory writing thing, and I always like that. And you know she can hit it, because she hit it earlier in the section. Right, right. Yeah, right. We all want to be zombies. Hey! Oh, and even the bass is a boom. Oh, yeah. Sure. I love the ending is so overwhelming. So what I noticed was um, the very last build up to the chorus, instead of doing the funk guitar thing, they actually did like big, like boom, 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 boom percussion. And I think that contrast is really great. Well, the boom, boom, boom is there the first two pre-choruses, but it's a lot more muffled. Well, it's, well no, I, it, it replaces the... Uh, Instead of that, which is the, the thing that's immediately what? before the chorus. Oh. Yeah, we hear that, but the last time it's actually, we hear the big punchy percussion. Okay. Yeah. 39, 3, 2, 1. See, there's like some muffled low percussion here. This is like, this song's a drower. So instead of da, 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 da. No, no, one more, there's, there's more. That wasn't it. That wasn't the immediate thing. 3, 6, 3, 2, 1. That's why, that's why I said this section is confusing. Okay, so we're here. Right. This. Yeah. Second time's also that, and then we get to the bridge. Three, two, one. And I think the guitar wait, wait, is still wait. there, but it's very gentle. Maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it probably is still there, because, but, but it's just they change the rhythm a bit. It's not da 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 da. It's dun 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 dun, and then drop. I, I like that. I just yeah. like that I can notice more details. Yeah. Yeah, I like a song that is as colorful to listen to, like with, based on the soundscape they create and uh, you know instrumental textures, as is the music video, which was so fun. I think this might be one of my favorite music videos. Yeah, I think I like. I like this aesthetic more than their debut. I think their debut, they were figuring it out and they went for a really dark and edgy thing. 
But this is like, it's got some weird darkness, a little bit of grotesque with the flowers and the eyes. But then they also can do a fire or something really, <laughs> really cute in between yeah, yeah, that. And I yeah. think this fits their vibe a lot. But also, I know after researching them and watching a lot of their interviews, they want to be a group that can do any concept. So we know that they probably won't be sticking to this. Yeah. Well, I like purple is that type of color for me, oh. where I think it could fit a bunch of things. Because oh. when you see like oh. a purple flower in the sun, it fits so well. But then when you see it in the darkness or on the macaroni box across the room, you know. Anyway, great song. I like it. That was super fun. Mm. Thanks for watching, everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let us know what your favorite song is off of uh, Hide and Seek EP. Mm. Bye. Bye.